All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go over our quiz review for our second slope quiz so that before we take our quiz, we are prepared. Number one says identify slope and y-intercept, then graph the equation y equals negative 4x minus 1. I know that my slope is always my coefficient of x, so I'm going to label my slope as negative 4. Remember, we like to write it as a fraction so that when we go to graph it, we have both a rise and a run. My y-intercept is going to be at negative 1 because it says negative 4x minus 1. I'm going to come over to my graph, find my y-intercept, which is negative 1. So I'm going to go down 1 from the origin. I know that that's negative 1 and plot my point. Then I'm going to use my slope to find my second point. So I'm going to start at my first point. I'm going to go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and to the right 1. I went down 4 because my 4 was negative, but I went to the right 1 because my 1 was positive. Then I'm going to connect my dots, make sure that I have arrows on the end to show that it is a line. All right, number two, we're doing the same thing. We're identifying the slope and y-intercept and then graphing the equation y equals 1 half x plus 2. So my slope is 1 half. My y-intercept is 2 or positive 2. So I'm going to start with my y-intercept and put a point at positive 2. Then I'm going to use my slope to count to find my second point. It's rise over run, so I'm going to rise 1 and run 2. I went up 1 and to the right 2 because both 1 and 2 in my slope are positive. I connect the dots and create a line. Okay, at the bottom, number 3, write the equation of the line below. So this is the opposite process of what I just did up here. I have my graph. and I need to write my equation. Okay, I'm going to start with my y-intercept because I think that's easier for me to see. And I can see that this line crosses through the y-axis at negative 1. So I'm looking for where does my y-axis meet my line. So I'm going to say my y-intercept is negative 1. Then I'm going to count my slope. So I'm going to pick a second point I could choose the point down here, or I could choose this point up here. Um, either way, I'm going to count from my first point to another point along the line. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, and over 1. So my slope is 3 over 1, which is the same as 3. So if I plug that into my equation, y equals mx plus b, m being my slope, b being my y-intercept, I'm going to have y equals 3x minus 1. <clears throat> Number 4, same thing we just did. So we're writing the equation of the line below. So I'm going to start by finding where does my y-axis meet up with my line of my graph. And I can see that it meets at 3. So my y-intercept is positive 3. Then I'm going to find another point along the line. Remember, when you're looking for a point along the line, you're just looking for a point where the line intersects at a corner. So I've got one there. I have one there. I have one there. So just look at your graph and see where does this line intersect with a corner so that I have two whole numbers to make my slope. So here is my y-intercept. I'm going to use this point right here. In order to get to that point, I have to go down 1. So I'm going to say that my rise is negative 1 because I'm going down. And then to the right, 
2. I could also look here and say that I'm going up 1 and to the left 2, up 1 and to the left 2, which would give me both of those are the same answer. They're both negative 1 half. I'm going to plug that into my equation. y equals slope times x. And since my y-intercept is positive, it's plus 3. All right, down here at the bottom, we're going to start by looking at the table. And the first thing I want us to do is graph the table because we know how to graph a table and then we know how to look at a graph and write this information because we just did that up here. So what I'm going to do is start by graphing then use my graph to answer these questions. So my first point is negative 2, 3. Remember this is like an ordered pair. So left 2, up 3, there's a point. Negative 1, 0. So left 1, up 0. 0, negative 3. So up 0, down 3. I really only need 3 points. Actually, I really only need 2 points to create a line. So I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to go ahead and create my line. And this is one of those situations where you want to be very careful as you create your line because you're going to need points along the line to answer your questions. All right, my y-intercept, I just plotted that point at negative 3. So whenever my x value is 0, I'm looking for the y-intercept. Look, it's negative 3. So I'm going to put that right there. I can also look at it on my graph. So y-axis, here's my line. They intersect at negative 3. Then I'm going to count my slope. I'm going to start at this bottom point, go up 1, 2, 3. So I rose 3. And then I went to the left 1, so it's 3 over negative 1. So this total slope I know is going to be negative because one part is negative. And then I'm going to drop the 1 off just to write it into the equation. All right? So my equation always starts with y equals. My slope, I said, was negative 3, x. And then since I have a negative y-intercept, I'm going to say minus So make sure that you have all of these correct and you feel confident. Once you're ready, put everything away. You may not use notes for your quiz. Um, get out a pencil, raise your hand, and a teacher will bring you your quiz. Good luck.